Coming up today on That LTD Life, we're checking out Starbucks Pro. If you're a WordPress user and you blog frequently, you're gonna wanna check out this tool to upgrade your author box. This is from the same team that created Squirrely SEO, one of the most popular WordPress deals to maybe ever be on AppSumo. Here's the deal page for Squirrely SEO. This one's no longer available, but 442 reviews, almost all of them five tacos. This same team has created Starbox Pro, which is meant to help you upgrade the author box on your WordPress website. Now, what does that have to do with SEO? Well, let me tell you. In the world of SEO, there's this concept of EAT, which is E-E-A-T, expertise, experience, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. By filling out our author box, and then you can kind of see what the design is going to look like here, and displaying this on all of our posts, it will automatically give us better eat with Google and with people who actually read the page. That's the whole point is that they'll read this and say, oh, wow, you know, this is, you know, a really trustworthy person. I want to do business with them. I mean, hey, AppSumo even does it themselves. Have you ever looked just below the plan details? I know it's hard to go down this far, but look, they've got a big from the founder section here where they talk all about the founder. The founder can even leave a little message and say exactly what they plan for the product. It adds that eat factor so you know whether you can trust this product or not. But is this even necessary or can you already do enough with the built-in features of WordPress? Well, I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna grab my coat here. I'm just gonna get a single, but if you need more than one site, you can go up to a double, which includes five sites or a multiple, which is a triple, right? It's the third one, unlimited sites. Reasonable pricing here as well. 49, 100 and 147 for the different pricing plans. You add in your plus discount. And I think this is a very reasonably priced deal. By the way, Plus Day is happening this week. I've got a link for that down below. Go check that out if you don't know what I'm talking about. I've covered it in past videos, so I will not belabor it now. But 44 bucks after my 10% discount. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. All right, my account has been created with Squirrely. I can click this link and proceed to download the plugin. All right, I've got a WordPress website, and this is the blog. I've got a post that was generated with AI. You can see it's pretty long here. This is from the Content Boom video, by the way, if you're wondering. And let's go ahead and add in an author box. So I'm gonna get Starbox uploaded. I'm in the admin area here. I'll go to plugins, add new, upload my plugin. I'll activate. I entered in my license code and now here I am. I'm just gonna go ahead and complete the first time setup. We'll do this on camera here with you. So you see every option that's available. My first impressions are that I don't really care very much for the user interface. Like it's just very, very kind of mechanically laid out with any, without any sense of humanism or beauty to it, but that's gonna get the job done. And a lot of kind of technical tools like this tend to lack a great experience for the user. So the first thing I need to do is just select my author, which you can see here, I did that. You can use this plugin with multiple authors on the same website, that is no problem. But for the first setup, we're gonna just go through as myself and it automatically fills in my first name and last name. I'll enter in some of this other information. All right, so I entered in my personal details. I added a author bio, and then I added in some of my social media links. Now, I wasn't sure because they didn't specify if I should add the whole URL or I should just add like my handle. So on Twitter, I'm at David Swift. On YouTube, I'm at Dave Dash Swift. So I'm not sure if these are going to pose any problems, but if they are, just make note of it. I have to come back and fix it with the full URL. Then down below here, we've got some SEO options. No real instruction on like what they mean. So we have no follow, meaning that these links are gonna be no follow links. Uh, no opener, which I believe means that it's not going to open a new tab. And then no refer is going to strip off any of the referral information to the destination site. So they won't know what site brought you to them. So you can turn any of these on or off as you please. I'm gonna go ahead and save and continue. Oh, by the way, I did also upload an image here. This was not pulled in from Gravatar, even though it's the same image that I use. I did upload that manually. And now I've got all these templates I can choose from. So I'm gonna scroll through and see which ones look like they might be the best fit. I'll just point out that like they're all very, very stimulating backgrounds, which are not something I would personally usually select for a design. I'd probably go for something more minimalist, kind of a background look, but you know, we've got everything here from comic books. I saw some fitness stuff before. We've got, you know, some ropes, some weightlifting, uh, a strong back here. See if there's anything like techie or nerdy. We're obviously getting there with video games and comic books. 
there's a lot of different templates. So um, I'm just gonna start clicking on some of these to preview them. So here's a nice hot air balloon. So here is what that would look like. I assume you'll probably be able to swap out those images. I don't see any reason why you couldn't. Yeah, and each one of these templates actually has a bunch of different variations. So you can see that's a slightly different layout. We've got this layout here up above. Now, some of them look like the image is actually cutting off the title. So that's a little bit strange. And even my job profession here is uh, kind of getting cut off. There is some sorting up here at the top. So we've got highly visual, which all of those kind of felt like they were highly visual. Then we've got standard, which I think I'm gonna be more in, in this realm. That looks better to me. Yeah, here's another one. And here's the last of the standard. All the standard look very, very similar. And then there's also modern, which these look more like signatures you'd see on someone's email, right? There's only five of these. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so I'm gonna go with this one right here and I'm gonna see how much customization I can do to you know the colors, the typography. I find it unusual that it's using such different typography than actually on the site. It's definitely being pulled in from the plugin. So let's see what customization we have. But I like how it's just like a clean, it's my name, here is my bio, those are my social links, that makes sense. All right, so we've got some filters here. We can change the brightness, the opacity, the grayscale, and the saturation. So I'm gonna go to opacity, make it more see-through. Nothing's really changing. Increase the grayscale. Hmm, nothing's happening in real time as I change this. Yeah, like none of these options work at all for this particular theme. I'll try a different theme just to see Maybe it only works with these more visual ones. All right, I'm gonna choose this. Yeah, now it's adjusting that background image quite a bit. So it was probably, these are probably CSS controls for an image and I didn't have an image, I had a color. So it didn't have anything to change. So I can make it more opaque, grayscale. But you notice here, even just with like their default settings, the type does not look great. So I'll definitely want to change that. Now, my question before was, can I change the background image? And certainly I can here. So I'm just gonna grab any old image that I have on the site already. How about this skateboard? We'll load that in. And sure enough, you can put any image on the background. So you're just basically choosing the layout that you like. And now I can move this box around with these little arrows. That's kind of a funny interface. You can't drag it manually. That feels like maybe it should be the case, but you can't. All right, so we are currently editing the background image, right? But I can also change the border here. So if I want to add in a border around my information, I can do that. And finally, I can change the panel. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so that adds basically a, a ribbon essentially over the top of the background image. And if at any point I just wanna go back to the beginning, I can reset the options and then here I am. It doesn't change that background image back though. So that's that's very interesting. I'd kinda have to just go in and repick the theme. All right, I'm gonna choose this one right here. There we go, that looks a little bit better probably than the last theme, uh, although my bio is being cut off, so I definitely would wanna go in and tweak those options. Um, they asked some very confusing questions in the setup. So you can hear it says, I am a content creator, and then my job title is also content creator. Um, I probably wouldn't need to fill up both of those. So I'm gonna save this, but let's edit it and um, make that content look a little bit better. Now, before I do that, the next section just kicked me into the display options, which is showing where Starbucks will load. Now, if you have a lot of different custom post types, like clearly this website does, I could turn it off on certain post types. Maybe uh, I'll just toggle them all and then, okay, I wanna deselect all. I think they should add a button for that because really I just want it on the posts. And because there are so many post types, it's literally gonna take me like, two minutes to check all these boxes. All right, so I will save this now and finish up. So now that I've saved my author box, under the author section, I can see my author here. I can click to edit the author. And now here's what I was gonna clean up before. You can see I've got the job title slug, which is I am a content creator, but then I also have the job title here. It actually asks for both of them and it does give you an example, like I am a default and then enter your job title. So I'm just gonna say I am a YouTuber. And it didn't actually save my company URL. So I just typed that in again. And I also had my company name in, which it didn't save. So I'm gonna make sure this is all there. So when we look at the template, it is accurate. All right, there we go. That already looks better. However, I'd love to see some typography adjustments. Let's see what's under the general settings. All right, so under general settings, we can set up a default author box, which means that the theme that we set up initially, that's gonna to apply to all authors, 
unless we want to opt out. We could select an author, like I'll choose Kenneth here. He's not going to have an author box. Now, when I chose him, I've got a field down here that should say Kenneth's name, but it doesn't. So I'd say that's probably just needing some work. That That's a bug. Now, I did notice there's another way to update your author box. If you just go under the user and edit your user and scroll down far enough, you will see that same section that we looked at before. And I do see that my company name and URL has been saved this time. So that's good. It does look like it saved all of my Twitter information, but I'm not sure if those links work. All right, now I'm visiting my blog post. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. And unfortunately, my author box is not displaying. Let's edit this post. I can see here that I am set to be the author, so it's not set to Kenneth. That's good. You know, maybe I have this toggled the wrong direction. These toggle switches are not very clear to me because gray often means deactive, but usually to the right is on. So I could have done this wrong. So just to make sure I'm gonna do what I think is turn them all on. That, that makes sense because the other options are hidden. So I will save the changes now and back on my blog post, we'll scroll to the bottom and sure enough, there we go. That was user error, toggled the switch the wrong way, but also user experience matters. Those toggles need to be fixed. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I mean, not great in my opinion, right? These, uh, the concept of this plugin is not terrible, but the execution leaves a little bit to be desired. I'm just gonna change to maybe a more standard one here, just so we can get a feel for what that would look like. All right, let's reload the page. And there we go. That already looks way better in my opinion. Now there is supposed to be a second tab over here for latest posts. And actually it is there, you just can't see it because it's got white text. So this may be an issue with the theme because it does seem now like at least the body copy here is using the correct theme font. So that's where it should pull in this information from, but it didn't seem like it was on the other template. So any regard, I need to do some CSS here to make this look nice. It would be great if that was built right into the plugin because there will obviously be some issues with certain themes where you need to customize things for your author box, they should add those features in. I mean, the beautiful thing about WordPress is that we can of course do that. We can change how it looks to suit our needs, but I'm not gonna go through the process of doing that in this video. It's gonna be technical and boring. And obviously when people purchase products like this, they want all of that stuff done for them because otherwise you could just do it yourself. That's the whole point. Now, is this plugin even necessary if you're using a theme like Generate Press? Well, there is a tutorial from them to show you exactly how to do this inside of Generate Press using their layout system. And you might find that that is suitable for you. Or if you're using another page builder like Elementor, they've got a widget dedicated to the author box and that also might work for you. And I'm sure other page builders like Brix and Divi have those features built in as well. However, uncoupling the author box from your theme or your page builder is really nice in concept. But Starbucks, unfortunately, I always feel like I'm saying Starbucks, Starbucks, unfortunately, is not executing this up to a very high level. So there is something here. It could be helpful to a lot of people who just don't want to mess with building out their own custom layouts. Having a dedicated plugin is part of the reason that WordPress became so ridiculously popular in the first place. So this might be a plugin that's going to need a few months to even a year to really live up to its promises. For that reason, I'm going to give Starbox a 6.2. If you wanna check out Starbox or any of the other deals at AppSumo, I've got a link in the description. I appreciate everyone who clicks that before making a purchase, helps support this content. Otherwise, head over to clientamp.com, check out my premium courses, sign up for my free email newsletter, or even just read these videos in article format. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Dave Swift, and I'll see you in the next review.